uh, module 7 we are uh, still continuing with introduction to involute gear tooth correction and in this lecture uh, involute spar gear tooth correction there will be another tutorial this is workout example 2. In this lecture <coughs> I shall cover uh, a problem on internal involute gear tooth correction. Uh, first of all I will show that after introducing correction what will be the backlash working pressure angle corrected pinion tooth tip thickness internal and ring gear tooth tip thickness and finally, when um, a gear correction is given usually the addendum is truncated or increased some modification will be there therefore, it is essential to uh, calculate the contact ratio also that we shall do for this problem. Now, the problem is, uh, is that in an integral gear drive with 20 degree involute straight tooth spar gear set numbers of teeth are 50 and 40 and module is 5 millimeter addendum factor with respect to under uncorrected gear is 0.8 for both. Now, here uh, 50 40 means definitely the ring gear will have 50 teeth and the pinion which is driving it or vice versa will be 40 teeth and module is 5 20 degree involute. Now, an amount of minus 0.06 S0 correction is given to the pinion only. Now, S0 correction means there will be no change in center distance and minus correction means we will depend the cutter. This means that pinion tooth will be thinner. However, we are not going to change the addendum what was the addendum factor was there we will keep that one that means the blank of pinion will not be changed only this amount of corrections very small correction will be given and as it is S0 there will be no change in center distance. Now, we have to find out what is backlash. tooth tip thickness of both gear and pinion and finally, the contact ratio. Now, the given data are ZG that means, number of tooth of the ring gear is 50, ZP number of external tooth pinion is 40 alpha the pressure angle standard pressure angle is 20 degree and module is 5 millimeter and addendum factors for both is that is AFG and AFP is 0.8 and correction factor for pinion is S0 minus 0.8 not 6 and we have to find out backlash to thick neck thick thickness of both ring gear and pinion and contact ratio. Now, first we will estimate the backlash the pinion is given negative correction and there is no correction on ring gear. This means that the pinion tooth is made thinner and there is no change in the center distance S0 correction means there is no center distance change. Therefore, uh, the 
what is the reduction of to thickness at the standard pitch circle to thickness of the pinion at the stand standard pitch circle that is the amount of correction. So, we shall measure that amount of reduction in thickness on the pitch line of the rag gear and that amount is the backlash. This is the answer is simple here as we are not changing the center distance then the pitch circle the working pitch circle will not change the pressure angle will not change, uh, but as shown in the figure as shown in the figure there will be reduction in thickness on pitch line this amount which is given by delta B and with cap this means that this is the arc thickness on rack cutter pitch line this is the straight thickness, but here it will be the arc thickness arc distance length along the arc you can say. So, that is that amount we need to calculate. Therefore, the reduction in arc tooth thickness of pinion tooth at pitch circle equals to the backlash. It is calculated as delta B cap 2 into mod of x p correction factor because we are calculating the amount. So, x p is expressed is with negative sign as it is negative correction, but here we will take the magnitude only. So, we have used x p mod and m is the module then tan alpha that is the standard formula okay. and that becomes 2 into 0 0.06 into 5 into tan 20 degree which comes to 0.2184 millimeter say it is 0.22 millimeter. So, that amount will be the backlash very small backlash, but that is good enough for running the gear in good environmental condition. <coughs> Now, we need to calculate the pinion tooth tip thickness. Now, this tooth thickness we have designated as T dash with calf that is we will take the length we will measure this length also along the arc of external gear at a radius r dash which can be expressed as T dash is equal to twice r dash whole into T divided by twice r plus involute alpha minus involute alpha dash. Now, involute al alpha means the involute of the standard pressure angle and alpha dash is the pressure angle at radius r 0 r dash T is the arc to thickness of the pinion external gear at the pitch circle radius and r is the pitch circle radius. Therefore, tooth tip thickness T tip will be equal to twice R tip 
because r dash is replaced by r t f whole into the, the t by 2 r plus involute alpha minus involute alpha t f. This r here it is shown in the figure r is equal to r p that is the pitch circle radius. Now, r t f that is the radius of the pinion at the tip is equal to number of teeth of the pinion plus twice into addendum factor whole into multiplied by module divided by 2. The teeth number is 40 and addendum factor is 0 0.8 and module is 5 therefore, that value becomes 104 millimeter. So, you have calculated it is 104 millimeter tip radius and the pitch circle radius is calculated as number of teeth into module divided by 2 because this is the straight tooth spar gear. So, this is 100 millimeter. Now, tooth thickness at the pitch circle is now the standard tooth thickness at pitch circle that is circular pitch divided by 2 pi m by 2 minus the amount of correction or in this case we have considered that is the backlash that is del b. So, straight away we calculate this tooth thickness the present tooth thickness which becomes the original tooth thickness was 7.854 minus the backlash 0.2184. So, this becomes 7.6356 millimeter. Now, involute alpha, alpha 20 degree already it is shown earlier. So, that is calculated as 0 0.0149 again 0 and as instructed earlier I again mention that we should take at least 5 decimal values for such calculations because the differences are very small and involute uh, of the angle is also very small amount. So, we have considered 5 decimal or 6 decimal places. Next we calculate alpha t f that is given by if pressure angle is known at any radius in this case uh, we have considered the standard um, pitch circle and the standard pressure angle. So, alpha t f can be written as cos inverse r by r t f into cos of alpha and r is equal to 100, r t f is equal to 104, alpha is equal to 20 degree and from there we calculate that the at alpha t f the pressure angle will be 25.3712 degree that that means alpha t f will be this amount. So, next we calculate involute alpha t f the same way mind it that in the formula tan of the angle involute means tan of the angle minus this angle this angle only angle that should be ex expressed in radian. So, we have expressed in radian here 25.3712 divided by 180 into pi and finally, we have calculated that al involute alpha t f is coming 0.0314082 we have considered here 6 decimal places. Therefore, now we have all the values therefore, we can calculate the tooth thickness of the corrected pinion at the teeth which becomes 2 into r t f is equal to 104 2 into 104 into the tooth thickness at 
corrected tooth thickness at the standard pitch circle which is 7.6356 divided by 2 into 100 because 100 is the pitch circle radius plus involute of standard angle 0 149 minus the involute of the pressure angle at the tip which is 0 0.0314082 and finally, we calculate the tooth thickness is 4.5073 millimeter 4.5073 millimeter. So, we can consider the tooth thickness is about tooth tip thickness is about 4.5 for a uncorrected gear at the tip, it will more or less same, it is 4.5 millimeter. That means, addendum if we, the addendum is taken 1, that is just for your information. Anyway, this our concern is that for this gear, we have calculated the tooth tip thickness 4.5073. Next, we move to the ring gear tooth tip thickness. Now, tooth tip thickness of external gear at a radius r dash is expressed as again the same formula T dash is equal to twice r T by twice um, sorry twice r dash into T by twice r plus in value alpha minus in value alpha dash. I remind it here that to calculate the tooth thickness of the ring gear, what we are doing? We are first we are calculating the gap thickness because gap thickness means of this ring gear that means the external gear, external tooth gears. Okay, that we will calculate at a particular arc and then from the pitch there we will subtract the amount of tooth thickness there to get the tooth thickness of internal gear. Okay. Now, tooth thickness T double dash of internal gear at a radius R dash is expressed as T double dash is equal to twice pi R dash because it by Z the number of teeth of the ring gear that will give the pitch at that radius minus T dash which is the thickness of the gap that means external tooth thickness there. Now, the procedure will be same to calculate T dash Here it is shown that we are calculating tooth thickness at the radius, we are calculating the tooth thickness at the radius, the consider r, okay. this is r dash and then we are considering this pitch, pitch minus t dash will give you, give us t double dash, the arc thickness. Now, here the tooth tip thickness of the ring gear is number of teeth minus twice of addendum factor of the gears into module divided by 2. Now, tooth number is 50. So, 50 into 2 into 0.8 divided by 2 uh, into module will give us the tiff circle radius of the gear is 121 millimeter, it is 121 millimeter. As the ring gear tooth is not corrected, therefore, gap thickness at pitch circle is equal to T dash is equal to pi m by 2 standard pitch divided by 2 circular pitch that is pi into 5 
5 is the module divided by 2. So, 7.854 millimeter. And alpha R dash that is um, at at tooth tip thickness that is alpha R T Z is equal to cos minus alpha into standard pitch circle radius of the gear divided by R radius of tip of the gear into cos of standard pressure angle. We substitute the values and we get this angle is 13.814 degree. Mind it in case of what we observe in, in case of pinion when we went to the teeth, it, it was more than the standard pressure angle. The reason is that this was far away from the base circle. In this case, this is close to the base circle. Tiff of the internal gear has to be slightly above the base circle in all cases. If necessary, the addendum is truncated to move above the base circle. Usually, teeth number are more uh, than the critical teeth number. Say, for example, in case of uh, 20 degree pressure angle, critical tooth number for external gear is 17, and there are very rare that intern internal gear will be of 17 teeth, it is usually 50, 40, more 30. So, in that case, the tooth teeth which is if we take even one addendum below the pitch circle that will be above the base circle. In this case obviously, it is above the base circle. So, at that point that is when it has been generated by that time it has opened by 13.814 degree. So, this is the pressure angle there which we have calculated. Now, we calculate the involute of that angle 13.814 and we get this value involute of alpha r dash in um, we have considered the in we are considering the internal gear which is 0 0.004780. 0 0.004780 and then we substitute all the values in the formula standard formula and R dash is equal to 121 to thickness at the standard pitch circle 7.854 and pitch circle radius of this ring gear is 125 involute alpha is 0.1 not 149 and involute alpha dash point not not 0.004780. Now, you look into this as this value is very close point not not 5. So, if you do not go for 5 decimal places definitely there will be error. And what we find that tooth tip thickness not tooth tip thickness the thickness at the radius of internal gears tooth teeth that is at 125 millimeter from the center of the gear. The thickness of the gap is 10.051712, 10.051712 that means it will be here this thickness here this thickness. So, we can consider that the thickness here this gap thickness this is the gap at the tip of the ring gear is 10.051712. Therefore, the tooth thickness there that means this much this small amount that can be calculated as calculating the pitch there that means this point to this point which is 2 pi r dash this is the 
R dash here in this case two three if divided by Z G minus T dash here two pi into one twenty one we have calculated the two teeth radius is one twenty one divided by the number of teeth fifty so that minus ten point not five one seven one two and we get the tooth thickness tooth tip thickness of the internal gear is five point 1536 millimeter 5.1536 millimeter which is slightly higher than the tooth thickness we have calculated for the corrected pinion which is 4.5 so this gear would work and this will work and uh, this is the way how we can calculate this is a very simple problem i have shown and we can calculate what is the tooth thickness next as i told once the correction is given usually tooth tip is truncated thickness are changing so we need to calculate the what will be the contact ratio in this case we shall also calculate the contact ratio if we consider this line of contact then this contact will be from starting from this point to this point it will end this point suppose it is moving in this direction so contact will end at this t1 and it will start at T two, referring to this figure, we can write the contact ratio is equal to T one P. P is the pitch point plus P into T two divided by P B means base pitch. We are we shall compute the total length of contact with the base pitch because base pitch is the distance between two teeth. Now this formula. the formula for contact ratio can be written as in terms of the tip circle radius and the base circle radius of both gear and pinion it is written as r ap square that is r into addendum circle of pinion square minus R B P square that is addendum circle of the pinion square minus R B P means base circle. Sorry, this is the base circle of the pinion into ten of the working pressure angle. In this case, working pressure angle alpha is same as the standard pressure angle because we have not changed the center distance. Okay. Then uh, base circle radius of gear into tan alpha, that is working pressure angle, tan of working pressure angle is minus under uh, root addendum circle radius square of the pinion gear minus the base circle radius of the gear. Divided by pi m into cos of standard pressure angle, that is the base pitch. After correction, when the working pressure angle, if the pressure working pressure angle changes, still we need to compare with the base pitch because base pitch base circle is not changing. So we calculate the. Length of contact along the line of actions, which is passing through the pitch point. That pitch point again, the intersection point of two working pitch circles. But we compare with the base pitch. This is understood. And here it is written: alpha is the working pressure angle, and alpha zero is the standard pressure angle. Now we calculate. All these values. This is the base circle radius of the gear, which is nothing but the pitch circle radius of the standard pitch circle radius of the gear into cos of standard pressure angle, which comes to 117.462, and um, base circle um, radius of the pinion becomes 93.96. We have calculated in the same way, and We substitute 
these values all these values to find out the contradictor because the tip circle radius already we have calculated earlier. So, we have substituted these values and finally, we get that the contact ratio is 1.633. Now, this is satisfactory the reason is that usually ideally contact ratio can be 1 if there is no vibration if there is no deviation from the accurate dimensions, but we want when one pair is uh, leaving its contact there would have at least one pair and it, in that way it is found for practical purposes for industrial gears we can have the contact ratio is equal to 1.4 at least 1.4 and in this case we have got it is 1.633. For your information I would like to tell you with the same number of teeth if it would be external gear that means pinion is 40 and gear is external tooth 50 of same module same proportion everything this contact ratio will be slightly less you can calculate this you will find this will be less but still that will be also more than 1.4 and that will be satisfact satisfactory and as the tooth thick um, addendum height we have taken 0.8 we should call in that case these are the stub teeth standard stub teeth gears. Now, one thing can be given the contact ratio is independent of module that means here all, all these calculations module is included, but if you divide by this module that means all term can be divided by 5 then still this formula would work. Okay. So, contact ratio does not depend on the module it depends on the tooth proportion and the number of teeth pressure angle etcetera. Thank you.